People who come to us seem to be a little bit different from the rest of the world. There's a sense of humour in all of our instruments, and I think people who are dead serious, well, they don't like our instruments anyway. I even gathered stuff at the flea market. They don't just sell one or two knobs, so I had to buy the whole machine and just throw away most of the other parts and keep the pots. Old laboratory devices or kitchen appliances. We have a whole selection of stove knobs and such. At some point, we'll definitely need them. Someday, they'll fit. Yeah, one day some weirdo will come along. Someone who'll be our victim. <laughs> if we don't force our customers to get a crazy guitar. Yes, we do. <laughs> no, we lead them to it. The electric bass and the electric guitar are not instruments that can be recreated completely from scratch. Mr. Fender's work was just too thorough. But these instruments still have potential for development. I saw this recently with Pagelli's new Avant Air guitar. There is a digital effect unit built in so intelligently that it is easy to integrate different modulations into your playing. This is my latest baby, the Avantir. When I started, I envisioned it for avant-garde players, but I came to realize that it actually works for all styles. Basically, you influence the sound with air. It's a guitar with a built-in Alessis air effects. It was originally used as a DJ device. I really loved this machine, so I thought, wouldn't it be great to have it in a guitar? You can influence the sound while playing. It works with infrared beams when you change the distance and the direction of your hand. I put in two pickups. This is a volume pop for the bridge pickup and another one for the neck pickup. By switching here, you can turn off the air effects. And this is where you influence the tone, and here you switch programs. Hang on, I'll come a little bit closer. This is how it looks. We have a display where you can see the 40 programs, and you can change them here. This is where you switch the programs. I don't know if you can see it very well. By pressing this button, you can confirm and freeze the sound setting. That's how it looks from the front, and this is the back. It's really pretty basic, and it's powered by a 9-volt supply unit. We tried to achieve a kind of Barbarella space groove design, that matches the function of the guitar. We can choose from chorus, flanger, wah-wah, volume, as well as tape stop effects, radio effects, ring modulation. And even a drum machine. You have all this right at your fingertips. The nice thing is that you can play this guitar intuitively. You don't have to know how to program it. And what I particularly like is that you cannot hook it up to a MIDI interface and reproduce sounds. It's instant now. You'll just have to see if you can do it as well the next time. I really like its transient nature. Nothing is forever.
Many musicians are very conservative. This doesn't necessarily have anything to do with music, but with the expectations they have from their instruments. As long as musicians remain so fixated on some sort of flamed something, a flamed Les Paul or Paul Reed Smith or whatever, not that I have anything against these guitars, but I think guitar building tradition is going to go right back to where it came from, namely to a standstill. There'll always be a couple of exciting luthiers who will show where guitar building could go, but it will never actually go there. I should probably also say that I never actually think about things like that. I guess I might be a little naive. Maybe. But I just keep doing what I do. Typical understatement coming from a man who has been building guitars since 1977. Claudio not only ran the largest repair workshop in Switzerland, but he also has restored countless old jazz guitars. The Pagellis leave nothing to chance. Call it experience, genius, or simply pure intuition. Fact is, Pagelli guitars are definitely the most unusual amongst the world's elite instruments.